Hey, so my name is Dave Hackett, and uh, I'm a professional skateboarder and a downhill skateboard racer. I've been doing it for 35 years, and I'm 51 years old, and I live in Encinitas, California, but I grew up in Malibu surfing. Well, I got into skateboarding in 1965 when I was five years old. Um, I was underneath the tree at Christmas, and uh, you know, it was a craze, and uh, my parents bought a skateboard because they thought this is the end thing, and I took one look at it. I was hooked from, from then, so I've been skateboarding since 1965. The exhibit here at the California Surf Museum is spectacular. There's uh, downhill skateboards from over 35, 40 years ago. Uh, there's legendary racers here uh, from the 1975 Signal Hill race, which was probably the very first real downhill race put on by Jim O'Mahony back in 1975, and it, it really marked the beginning of downhill skateboard racing. Jim O'Mahony owned a skateboard magazine, and he had the USSA, which was the United States Skateboard Association. He's an amazing guy, groundbreaker, full-on legend and pioneer in the skateboard world. And so we're here today to celebrate not only the downhill act of skateboarding going really fast, but all the legendary participants of that era. So I'm one of the guys, all the rest of my friends are in here tonight, and I'm just stoked to be here and, uh, you know, have a reunion with everybody. Downhill's been back for the last couple of years, but now I think that, you know, it's been really popular in the media, but it never really went away. I mean, those of us that have downhilled have always done it, but now with the resurgence of the longboard market, a lot of people are realizing that, you know, it's really fun to go fast on a skateboard. And a lot of the other disciplines in skateboarding take a lot of time to really develop and get used to. There's a, you know, there's a big price to pay if you want to be a street skater or a vert skater. But if you want to be a downhill skateboarder or a longboarder, you can basically buy a downhill skateboard or a longboard and start skateboarding that day. So it's an easy entry, but going fast on a skateboard over 50, 60, 70 miles per hour takes a little bit more, uh, let's just say cojones. <laughs>